Right over here, the skeletal muscle fiber has been cut open to reveal within it these long cylindrical structures, which are referred to as myofibrils. If we look closely over here at these structures, here is one nucleus, and here is another. And these small squiggly structures represent mitochondrion. Now, we are looking more closely at these long cylindrical structures, which are called myofibrils. Notice that things are arranged in register here. So as these myofibrils are placed side by side, the same locations on these myofibrils are aligned like soldiers in ranks, for example. And what you have is you have the dark bands, which are the A bands, in between the I bands, which are the light bands. In the middle of the dark bands, you have M lines which are represented by these dark lines that you find in the middle. And in the middle of the I bands, you have a line which represents the Z disks, or the Z lines. And again, you can see they are perfectly aligned with one another, and this is true as you go all along the length of these myofibrils. Again, notice the perfect alignment of the myofibrils with the alternation of the dark, the A bands with the light bands. Notice again that the Z lines are also perfectly aligned in the center of the I bands and that this pattern repeats itself. If you go to one of these and you go from one Z line to the next along the length of the myofibril, this section of the myofibril represents a sarcomere. So as you go up and down along the length of the myofibrils, you can see one sarcomere after another. And the sarcomere is the basic contractile unit of the myofibril.